And then the lights come Being part of country music is, I can't stop that from happening. Um, I'm made from the same dirt that all the bluegrass was made of, that all, you know, all the country music came from. My first time to go over to London was play the C2C Festival. And my very first trip to London, people were singing my songs back to me. That was the first place that that ever happened. It's also the first place that I would get the phone call that a venue got sold out. My first time in Amsterdam, a little bit of a language barrier there, but it didn't matter once it came to music, everybody was locked in. One of the reasons I even play music at all is because music changed my life so much. So I do it because it did that for me and I need to do that for somebody else. Like I had a little girl when I was opening for Willie Nelson once in Kansas. She came up to the record table and she had her little hair and those little pigtail braids and a bandana on her head. And she said, I want to be a girl going nowhere. Just tears, like that's humongous. I didn't necessarily prep myself as a youngster for winning a Grammy, but I definitely prepped myself for being a nominee. <laughs> because I was like, if I could just get nominated, if anyone named Grammy could even say my name, then that would be a big step for me. This is bucket list, marked off, childhood dream, check, done. Not bad for a girl going 